Dear Jessica, so today I'm coming to you live from my kitchen. Well, not live, but sort of. You, you get my idea. And I thought it would be a good idea for us to catch up while I'm cooking dinner tonight, so let's go. Um, I did get a care package in the mail today for my parents, and it included Velveeta cheese, Rotel, and good old Texan tortilla chips. So I figured why not make fajitas, which I can find most of the stuff for, so let's do it. While I'm making cheese up, I want to catch you up on what I've been discovering these last couple of weeks. Um, I have made several trips around Ireland. Um, the first of which I think I need to tell you about is, um, of course, one Trinity, which is the college that I've been studying at. Um, Trinity is gorgeous and it's got a great history. It was founded by Queen Elizabeth I um, as a Protestant college and at first Catholics were forbidden to go to Trinity. It was disastrous and awful and then they finally were able to go to Trinity so it was amazing. Next, uh, last weekend I went to see a Irish castle. Ah, I lost my cheese. I can't waste this. It's precious commodity. So I went to a some ruins of a castle. It was a, the castle at Cashel. It's actually called Ca Cashel Rock. The legend behind it goes that St. Patrick once uh, exercised a devil out of a, ca out of a cave not very many miles from there, and the explosion of it caused a rock to fly through the air and land where the current um, a castle of Cashel stands, um, although scientists have done research and found that they are two completely different rocks, it's still a really good story anyway. The legend behind it goes that St. Patrick once uh, exercised a devil out of a, ca out of a cave not very many miles from there, and the explosion of it caused a rock to fly through the air and land where the current um, a castle of Cashel stands. Um, although scientists have done research and found that they are two completely different rocks, it's still a really good story anyway. Alright, so while that is sizzling away, I should probably go ahead and tell you that uh, last weekend I went to a place called Dunleary, which is actually spelt very, very strangely. Yeah, it was weird. Um, but it's right near the coastline, and it was really, really pretty, and we got to see some really cool waves. And uh, while we were there, we also saw a screening of Twelfth Night with Stephen Fry in it, and that was hilarious, of course. Um, and so, so much fun. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's all I've had time to travel to right now. I guess I should give you an update on classes, too. Um, we are now in the second week of teaching, and so far, Latin has gotten much better than what I thought it was going to be like. However, it might have been a mistake to take two dead languages at once. Uh, Latin paired with Old English is turning into a huge mess, but we'll see if I can muddle through it or not. Um, manuscripts is going to be so much fun. We actually get to handle medieval documents and do all this, and it's going to be awesome. Can't wait to tell you what's going to happen with that. Um, other than that, yeah, that's all I really know right now, so uh, I'll meet you at the dinner table, okay? Okay, Jess, so I totally devoured my Tex-Mex dinner because I was super excited about it, and it was okay. Uh, Irish Tex-Mex just isn't the same. So I thought I would sit here and talk with you over dessert. I made a a uh, baked apple with cinnamon and honey and walnuts because it's fall and all of those things are in season now. To say other than I hope that you have a fantastic week and uh, stick with it. I know that you're feeling a little bit discouraged right now and you're going to power through it and it's going to be awesome. So just take things as they come and deal with them as they go. I'm not a quote machine. <laughs> Best wishes.